unusual sight I happen to discover They hold three fingers in the air And flash it to each other They send their greetings to you They sing them and they shout But if you meet a fixie Please don't let their secret out But if you meet a fixie Please don't let their secret out Please don't let their secret out. Shh. The dog. <gasps> it's about me. Pixies? No, it's too soccer. It sounds like she's angry with us. I wish I knew what that mad dog was thinking about. I'm thinking about you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You better hide or people will see you. I'm leaving. See you later. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's going to rain. Mm. Uh, choose Sokka. I have no time to play right now. I'm not playing. His feet are gonna get soaked. Tom Thomas, I'm off. Don't be late. Choose Sokka. That's enough. No, I need to go to school. He's got his math class today and he's leaving his math book. Trying to serve like a good dog, but no one understands me. <laughs> Dogs have been serving people since ancient times, along with cows, horses, chickens, and other domestic animals. But of all of these animals, the dog was the very first. In the beginning, domesticated dogs looked like wolves. Over time, they started changing and were developed into dogs of many different breeds, from big shepherds to tiny chihuahuas. So a dog is not only a human's best friend, but his very first friend as well. What is that smell? <laughs> of service dogs. Dogs that help people by carrying out a wide variety of different jobs, like protecting a house or a flock of sheep if the dogs are shepherds. Some working dogs help guards protect their borders, while others work for the police. There are sled dogs that transport people and loads in the north, where there's only snow and no roads. Some service dogs help blind people by helping them get to the places they need to go. And there are dogs that save people trapped on mountains. And that's not all. Dogs went up into space before humans. But don't think that dogs are just given these jobs. Oh, no. Like humans, dogs study for a long time before they're allowed to take on serious work. <laughs> ah, that's all. There won't be a fire. Not today. Hooray! Well done, Chusaka. You're a real service dog, no doubt about it. Oh, yeah, I'm working. I'm a real service dog. Oh, Chusaka, go away. I've had enough of you already today. Don't say that, because this working dog just saved your house from burning down. What do you mean? She smelled smoke coming from the outlet. It could be that Chusaka...
Sokka means well and wants to do the right thing, but nobody understands her. That's a bit hard to believe. Then what's this book? Oh, my math book. That's where I left it. Remember how Chusaka wanted to make you take it to school this morning? You're right. Add a girl, Chusaka. Well done. Excellent. <coughs> what a rain. My feet got wet to the bone. But this morning, Chusaka tried to get you to wear a different pair of shoes. Hmm, that's something. I should listen more closely to this smart little dog of ours. Oh, finally! They understand me. Can you believe that pixies are such itty bitty creatures? Even when they're magnified, it's hard to see their features. up for a while. It turns off by itself. It's no big deal. I just turn it back on. I don't like this at all. Come on, Nola. Let's go inside and take a look. Just like people, machines can get sick too. They can get a very high temperature and even start coughing and sneezing. And if a machine or an appliance gets seriously sick, sometimes it can be too late to fix them at all. So wouldn't it be better if we could keep them from getting sick in the first place? Everybody knows that people who look after their health get sick less often and live longer. And the same goes for machines. Machines break less often and live longer if they're properly taken care of. That's why machines need to be checked from time to time and cleaned and oiled. And that's what's called preventive maintenance. And preventive maintenance is something that always should be kept in mind by humans and by fixies. Oh, what is that? What is what? Can you hear that? What are all those sounds? It's probably just mm, a fixie eater that woke up. What? What do you mean, fixie eater? Didn't you know that inside of some appliances there live horrible monsters? They love to attack fixies and eat them up. And the smaller the fixies are, the more the fixie eater likes to eat them. Ha <laughs> ha! And how come you never told me anything about fixie eaters before? I didn't want you to get <laughs> All right, scary cat. Let's keep going. with a propeller, the computer couldn't work without it. It has the very important job of keeping all of those other parts cool when they start heating up. It cools down the inside of a computer by blowing a stream of air. But a 
if the fan gets dirty and starts working poorly, the computer might get overheated and turn off. Or it can simply break. You have to turn off your computer. How come? I'll tell you later. Part's done. Now we oil it. Let me try. All right. It's oiled up. <laughs> Just like your nose. Tom Thomas! Turn it on! Tideesh! And then suddenly, I hear this terrible roar of a fixator. But I wasn't scared one little bit. And I just ran right into the battle. And Simka? Oh, she was hiding somewhere. You know, she's a girl and they're all cowards. So I had to fight the monster all by myself. Ah! Oh, I guess that was an example of how girls hide like cowards when they're too scared. <laughs> well, um, yeah. Please don't let their secret out. But if you meet a fixie, please don't let their 